This morning, five cities now know how they will spend millions of dollars in the next year. Last night, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia Beach, Newport News, and Chesapeake all voted on their budgets for fiscal year 2025. These votes were months in the making, and Casey Baylor joins us live this morning. Casey, there is a lot to break down with these budgets. Eugene, all five cities voted to approve of their budget and the big ticket item for all of them is that each city is looking at at least a 3% pay increase for its city employees. Let's start in Norfolk. That's where city council members voted to approve of the largest city budget in city history, sitting at just shy of $2 billion. Now, one of the top priorities there, a two cent real estate tax decrease. The city's six year capital improvement plan also includes funds to renovate Chrysler Hall and the Scope Arena. Virginia Beach City Council approved of its $2.6 billion budget, which also includes a two cent real estate tax deduction. Leaders there also plan to add 30 new firefighter positions. Within the Newport News City budget, $1 million will support gun violence reduction efforts, $123 million will fund school operations, and $118 will go to public safety. In Portsmouth, city leaders voted to fund a five cent real estate tax credit. The city's budget also includes costs for collective bargaining, which was approved back in November, as well as workforce development. And in Chesapeake, its $1.6 billion plan doesn't recommend any new fees, but the budget su suggests increasing tax bills due to real estate assessments expected to rise by 4%. Since the Hampton Roads Regional Jail is closed, they'll also need to hire 72 employees to man their jail, which is expected to save the city $1.5 million a year. Also worth noting, Chesapeake, Norfolk, Portsmouth and Newport News voted to approve the sale of the Hampton Roads Regional Jail to Portsmouth. But Hampton is one is the last city, I should say, to make a decision on this before that sale becomes finalized. City Council members there are expected to come to a vote May 22nd. Uh, we're live here in Portsmouth. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. OK, Casey, thank you. And you can read more about these budgets on our website, 13newsnow.com.